Hello everybody. Welcome back to the Fluid Crafter. I am Dora and today is day six. This will be the last remaining videos in this series and I would just want to say thank you to everyone who has stopped by, who has watched the videos. Um, I hope that you have been inspired. I hope that you have um, enjoyed them and you know just maybe learn something new or maybe just rewatch something you already knew but had fun doing it anyway um so for this last uh section of videos this is my personal journal that i made uh one of the very first ones that i made it's i haven't done much in it so I have been busy um, doing orders and um, creating and crafting for other people. So I thought this would be the perfect time to do something for myself uh, in one of my journals. And so I thought I would do something artsy, maybe um, colorful background, maybe some stamping, maybe drawing. Who knows? Um, I, I do draw. Uh, but I do abstract drawing. I, I, I'm not a portrait. Uh, I don't draw like that. Uh, <laughs> um, so I thought, you know, maybe just whatever. And maybe we could conversate and uh, I could tell you a little bit about me. You could get to know me and um, just kind of just go with the flow. What do you think? I think it would be good. All right. So... Uh, before we begin, um, I want to say that uh, there are a few people that I watch all the time on YouTube, and they have inspired me so much. Now, there are hundreds of people on YouTube I watch all the time, but there are a few that I uh, have um, I am subscribed to that I watch all the time, probably every day, um, and that would be Gail. Her last name starts with an A. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I know I'm going to mess that up. Uh, Rosa Kelly, love her albums. Oh, she has taught me so much. Uh, Roxy Creations, she's so simple and lovely, and I just love her. Uh, Nick the Booksmith, oh, love everything about what she does. And Jahib, Jahib is really, really creative in the things that she comes up with in some of her journals that she makes out of this world. Okay, so uh, I just want to say thank you, ladies, for inspiring me and for um, doing what you do, you know, and, uh, I hope that one day I would be able to inspire others the way that you have done for me. Uh, so let's get started. Let's just do stuff. And I, I have my sprays and so I want to spray a background. So let's do that. And so I'm going to a couple of sheets in here like this to protect my other ones. And I apologize if my head gets in the way. Like so. I think that will be good. We'll tuck that under. Yeah. Yeah, I think that will work. Yes, I think that will work. Okay, so, uh, well, as you know, my name is Dora, and I go by the Fluid Crafter on a lot of social media, and I have been crafting for a long, long time. Um, I also am a writer. I write poetry, and uh, I have a... I am published. Um, I haven't written poetry in a really long time, uh, but I do. Um, I do still on occasions, especially in my own journals. Um, <laughs> you're gonna think it's funny, but at one time I was going to go on to America's Got Talent and do stand-up poetry, but. Every time I see someone go on there that um, wants to read poems or something like that, it's it's not a very good outcome. And I've heard some horror stories about people who want to do stand-up poetry on that show. So 
I kind of bailed out. That and fear and stage fright and, you know, not being able to speak, get up there, you know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, there's that. And then, uh, you know, let's do... Let's do... Um, what do we want to do first? Let's do pink. Um, so... Um, I, uh, yeah, I am uh, 41 years old. I'm a mother of four children, two girls and two boys. Oh, that did not spray right. Ah! That came out in a straight stream. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, okay. I still want to use the blue, but maybe I'll do the shimmer blue instead because <laughs> that didn't work out very there yeah, that's better let's see that one we're just gonna spray and see what happens with them okay i need to put that to the side of clean up nozzle um so anyways um yes four children two girls two boys and um my two daughters are in college and um that looks more green and brown but that's all right it says brown mm. um and then um my two boys are 12 and 13. Like that let's do that dark right there mm -hmm. that around Give it a nice smear all right yeah um yeah all right so anyways um i have always loved to repurpose and redo and make things out of nothing and um i've always wanted to have a non-profit like you know for the environment you know, can you believe that there are 75 percent of waste that goes into a landfill is arts and crafts stuff couldn't believe it when i heard it could not believe it when i heard it i mean that's that is a lot so I wanted to start a nonprofit to keep that waste out of the landfills and to maybe help some of the community kids or something, you know, because there's a lot of people in the world that are extremely talented, but they just don't have, let me spray that maybe once, maybe it'll come up through there. That don't have the means or the um, the ability to, you know, purchase those things or whatever. So I was thinking about uh, working with a couple of companies to bring that to our community. We don't have anything like that here, and maybe maybe inspire somebody else to do it in their community. You know, we need more crafters and creators in the world. You know, less. <laughs> I want to say less government and less politicians, but I don't want to sound like, ooh, that's bright. Sound like a conspiracy theorist here. That's okay. Let's do that right up there, too. And run down the page. Okay. That was really bright. Really bright red. Um, so yeah, um, that's some of the stuff that I was thinking of doing. Um, I want to be in business, you know, craft business and things. And, ooh, you see that shimmer come out now. Yeah, okay, so now I need to know, excuse me for my head again. Mm -hmm. I'll just 
Let's grab a couple of ones. Little spongies. Facial spongies. Let's just start moving. Yeah, move it around a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take this and dry it off for just a second, and that way we it won't be wet. And then I'll come back and we'll keep going. All righty. Okay, welcome back. I don't know if you can see that shimmer on there. So lovely. All righty. So, um, anyways, um, not really sure what else we were saying. Um, my husband came in, was leaving, uh, so I forgot where we were at, but that's okay. Um, so let me check. Okay, that's good. All right. And my hands are all shimmery. <laughs> you know, I'm not a very, I'm not a girly girl. Um, I, I've always been called a tomboy my whole life. I like, you know, I was the girl that went and played football with the boys and did, you know. And here I am <laughs> doing all this. Uh, but even doing all this, I have to say that I've, um, I've always stuck to vintage, older, rustic, deep, darker colors, never really the vibrant stuff, unless I was art, you know, doing art or art journaling or painting or something. Um, but still, even that was like the deep hues, like the deep reds, the deep greens, you know. Um, but this week has really brought out a different side of me, and I have to say, I, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it. Um, Never been a big pink person, but I really liked uh, some of the things we did with pink this week. So, um, yeah. All right. Let's get our stamps out. Or at least some of them. Um, I do want to use these again because I really love them. And, um, well, the ones. And then um, we didn't get to use all of these here. So, what do we want to do? do? You know what? Let's do this these let's just do these let's do let's move that out of the way okay now hopefully again I won't get my hands all inked up all well too late I already got black on that one okay anyways moving on all right let's do some of these grungy ones down here let's see what those are all about let me get my block is that gonna be big enough yeah that one will be big enough now these are not typical acrylic blocks. These are um, like um, those plastic things that you put together like when you're doing frame collaging. But you know what? They work just the same. Same as the acrylic blocks. So hey, if it works, it works, right? Yeah, that's what I say. If it works, it works. All right, let's do um, let's do down this side. Yeah, and it doesn't have to all go on there. That's fine. I don't mind that. Oh, I like that. I like how that looks, especially with that shimmer. Man, I I hope you can see that shimmer on there. Man, that looks good. Okay, so let me grab let me grab some baby wipes here so I can clean as I go. Well, that's probably too many, but that's okay. I can always wipe my hands off with a couple of them. we can get some that might be yeah. oh ooh, we can do it at an angle maybe yeah look at that it fits at an angle mm-hmm okay all right let's do the top of that one hmm. looks okay 
Okay. Probably not my favorite, but that's okay. I'm going to double stamp it. Let's see what happens when you double stamp it. Sorry if my head gets in the way. Hmm. Let's try this side over here. Okay. I stamped all down with the other pages, but that's all right. Okay, that one's good. Trying out stamps and why not? Try it out on your own stuff before you give, some, you know, do it for somebody else. Um, especially if you get an order. That's what I do. I always just take my journals and try stuff out. But it's been a long time since I've actually just done something, you know, for personal for me and mine. Um, let's see here. These here are some older stamps. I'm not sure what that is on there. That looks yellow. Why is that yellow? Hmm. So odd. Well, maybe one of my ink pads opened up on accident. I'm going to have to check my drawer over there. Hmm, that's all right. Oh, that's okay. I'm just going to put a little house down there. Oh. Yeah, why not? Why not? We could do a grungy city on that. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's do that again. We can do a grungy city on this side. Hey, it works for me. Yeah. Works for me. Works for me. Okay, now let's put, you know what, we can do this. Put the city clock. Right there. If it gets pushed down. Yeah, it did. I got a little on the side of the bed. Hmm. Oh well. It's alright, we can cover it up. Right? Right? Alright. Okay, now, let's see. I got these new stamps. New Tim Holtz. Well, new. Well, they're new for me. Um, probably not new t for everybody else, but that's okay. Let's do. Hmm. hmm. Not sure yet. Uh, I do want to do this one. I don't think this one is long enough. Um, let's see if I can get my bigger block out. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'll put that one over there. Yeah, see, these are not acrylic. They're for the, they're beveled, and they're for the frames. But, I mean, they work the same. They're actually cheaper. I actually think I got these at the thrift store. Or, um, oh, no, I think I got these from my friend Stephanie in Colorado, who I miss dearly. I wish she was closer to me. Let's do another one. It overlap just a little bit. Oh, and there's something under the on the other pages. Let me see if I can do that. Oh, that worked out all right. That looks good. I like stamping. I like stamping. 
I'm like stamping all over the place. Yeah, I do. Okay, so now I want to do um, let's not do those. Um, well, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it with stamps. Maybe that's just it. Um, Let's put uh, no. Nope, 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 nope. Just leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. Leave it alone. That's what I do. When I can't remember or can't think of anything new, I just leave it alone. It is good the way that it is, right? Okay, right. Okay, so I got my background. I'm gonna put my sprays away. I'm going to put all my stamping stuff away, clean this mess up a little bit, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got most of this stuff cleaned up and out of the way. And, um, yeah, so, you know, I was, I was thinking about adding something to it, but I really kind of just like it the way that it is. And I can write on it, and I can write over the words, like kind of have my words with these, which is really cool. And then this here could just be like a city lights and or something, you know. I like that page. I love this page a lot. This one here, I think I'm gonna write, and I think I might even write a poem on it. You want to write a poem with me? Do you? I don't know if you like poetry or not, but I like poetry that is metaphorical, like um, um, when you describe something instead of saying um. Uh, like for relationships, for instance. Um, 